All right, good morning. Uh, once again, in case you haven't watched any of the previous, well, any video you see is probably going to be a week in between them. Um, apologize for the fan noise, if you can hear it. Um, winter is pretty much over. It's starting to get warmer where I live. And, uh, of course, you may not see this for uh, anything up to a month after I filmed it. Uh, anyways, this is uh, the second part of the video about this uh, locomotive. Uh, apparently, somebody either tried to or started or converted it to two rail, and that's for the why the, it's wired wacky. Um, and. Uh, we're going to try and put it back to three rail and get an E unit that works. Um, one of the problems with this is that the original E unit is of an unusual size and shape, and it won't really. F a, a, it's a pre war E unit, and post war E units really aren't going to fit in this. I think they're way too tall. Um, there's just no place for it, and getting a pre-war E unit is mostly out of the question because um, the cheapest I could find a price for one is about 125 bucks because apparently they're made out of solid gold. Uh, so. I'm actually in communication with some people on the Antique Radio Forum trying to come up with an alternative to the original E-Unit and the electronic E-Units. I mean, sure, I can go buy an, an electronic E-Unit, but the weird part is, is that I should be able to make Use, make it, get an E-unit that's made from uh, latching relays, but the problem is that um, it appears nobody makes a triple throw latching relay. Uh, to do what I would want to do would require a dual pull triple throw latching relay, and there's no such animal. I have looked. Um, the uh, you can get dual pole latching relays. Um, you can get relays. You can get latching relays. You can get stepping relays. Um, stepping relays are the closest thing to what I would need. But the problem with stepping relays is that. Um, they're huge. They're used mostly in telecom and phone, you know, for for phone systems, and not too many people make them that are small. Uh, apparently, people don't make things that nobody's ever asked for. Um, in reality, the E unit is a latching relay. Um, it's a the equivalent of a dual pole. Um, it's a multi-throw relay. I don't know how many throws you would say it, it is, but um, at least four. Um, And I'm going to completely rewire this, uh, this locomotive with modern wire. Um, of a smaller gauge, I've realized I don't need the heavier gauge that I've been using. Um, used a pretty small gauge wire. So 
so these uh, I gotta look these up. I, I'm curious about their specs. Um, they seem like ridiculous overkill. It looks like someone was trying to make a bridge rectifier, which is really wouldn't have been necessary for this. Um, I mean, sure, it would maybe make it run a little smoother or something, but completely unnecessary and wiring on this is just funky weird. Um, the sad part about all of this is that when I was cleaning out my dad's storage locker he had a bunch of uh, random components and there's an off. There's a chance that he may have had not a uh, pre-war E unit, but he may have had some extra E units. Um, and not knowing what they were, I may have thrown them out. Because uh, if you can't haven't guessed, I've not been. I'm, I don't. I'm not into. Uh, trains like my dad. I've never really seen the inner workings of these until I popped them open. Um, had several uh, suggestions on how to make an E-unit. Um, I've, I've drawn up a circuit using latching relays um, that could possibly work. Um, it would just need two latching relays, a uh, single pole, single throw relay and a single pole dual throw latching relay could probably do it. Um, using one relay to uh, trigger the other relay in an alternate manner. I mean, I have looked um, a lot. I, I mean, spent hours and hours. Um, any free moment I had at work, at my lunch hour, you know, almost every day for the last couple of weeks, uh, trying to find a solution using relays, and it just doesn't exist. Nobody makes the type of relay that. I would need. Um, it's kind of surprising. And that could be a testament to the uh, the genius that the original E-Unit is. I mean, it's a mechanical latching relay and it is very small and simple simple in design, yet nobody has found a uh, something that would be the equivalent in the last several years. I mean, since uh, it's been since they first came up with them, uh, the f I don't think they came up with an electronic. Uh, E-unit until like the 70s, um, any mass-produced ones at least, and the uh, even supposedly the Lionel one is actually taken from somebody else's design uh, that was posted in a train magazine. Um, 
and there's just been no nothing different since then. Um, I know I could put the E unit in the tender. I don't want to. Um, it's a challenge. I want to see if I can put it, you know, inside this. So let's let's check some things out here because it looks like I kind of thought that maybe someone had turned this into a two rail, but that means they would have had to have insulated the wheels from the chassis, and I don't really see that. Well, let's check that with my uh, continuity meter. Let's see what we got. Interesting. The side is actually Wow, I'm surprised. Even when this touches, there's they manage to completely isolate it. I'm really curious how they did that. I don't. I cannot see any sign of exactly how they did that. I would have thought they would have had to take the wheels off, drill them out, and then put uh, some kind of plastic bushing or insulating bushing, but there, there doesn't seem to be one. Um, you would think somehow it would make a connection with these gears to the chassis. Let's see. So the gears are all, you know, have continuity, and the gears have continuity to the chassis, but there's no continuity to these wheels. This is really so dirty. Can't tell if I'm making contact. Okay, so the center
There must be something about these wheels. That's insulating them. They could be that uh, the spokes or whatever they want to call them in there are plastic. Um, which of course means that uh, there should have been a pickup. Somewhere on here between, uh, you know, to, because you only have power coming in from one wheel and the other. The only thing I can think of is maybe the power was coming in off the tender. Um, it is possible to do that, um, which means that, you know, if I uh, put this back to being two rail, I have to come up with some way to remove this or make them have continuity or uh, I don't know it's not something I want to worry about right at this moment um, I'm thinking I'm going to take this apart and uh, we'll give it a cleaning and uh, Oh, uh, when I got, wherever I, this box was that I got this out of, it had this in with it, and I didn't realize it was related. Um, these are a set of trucks uh, for two rail. Um, they have the smaller flange and they actually have the springs actually work um, that's kind of cute uh, and they're insulated there's a I believe that's plastic trucks are insulated from each other. And I believe these were meant to go on the tender um, to replace those wonky ones. Uh, so probably when I put this back together. Um, you know I could also leave it to rail. Um, just get the wiring fixed, put a, neat, a decent E-unit in it. Um, although I don't know. You're gonna have to get it apart though to clean it. Okay, well, all these parts are taken apart, and these are all gonna go in the ultrasonic cleaner, and we'll see how they turn out. Okay, so everything came out of the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Um, one of these broke, but it broke before it went into the ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, I'm going to hit this stuff with a little bit of uh, black paint just to, because some of it's just look a little grayishly faded. Um, one thing I noticed is somebody installed a piece of wood here. It took me a while. I was like, what is this brown stuff? I thought it was rust. but. Uh, it's a piece of wood or phenolic, not phenolic, uh, the stuff, masonite. Um, oh, and also these uh, brushes don't like denatured alcohol. Um, so, gonna hit that with some paint and come back just, you know, to show you what it looks like, and uh, but I'm not gonna put it back together till. Uh, probably the next video. Okay, um, so I just I painted the trucks and uh, I just gave the sides a, a quick coat of paint. Um, 
the wheels are a bit rusty but I didn't paint them so they can be cleaned and uh, this is painted although I didn't paint inside here um, so it should still work uh, with a light bulb and I uh, gave this a quick coat of paint on the on the ends there um, just so and um, I guess I'm gonna put this uh, together maybe next week see you then